Hello everyone, it's time for more madness. I'm Madness from Madness is a Doll Hub, and we are back with more Life is Strange True Colors. Now, in the last episode, since it doesn't do recaps itself, we went on the hunt to start trying to figure out why Mac was lying about Gabe. Why did he say there was no call? And we found out. He put in the call, and they ignored it. We don't know why. We also told Charlotte not to sign an affidavit as she received an affidavit from Typhon where they were trying to offer her money to stay quiet. We discovered the emotion of joy. We started a we started progress working on a LARP with Steph. And at the very end, we had everyone happy putting up a lantern for Gabe just to see that Diane, I'm pretty sure she's a Typhon worker, seems scared compared to everybody else's joy. So now we get to move on, and we get to find out what happened. Why was the call ignored? Why did the blast still go off? And who was the one that pushed the call through? I also, I don't remember if this chapter or the next chapter is the LARP, but the LARP will be coming up. So, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Remember to make sure that you've seen everything else for Life is Strange. Before you come back here, this is chapter 3 of True Colors, and you still have the other games before this one. But with all that being said, let's go. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's just jump right in. Monster or mortal. You have a superpower? <laughs> You're both fucking with me, right? Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Okay. Oh shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? <laughs> Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, Let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Jed, thank you so much for remembering my birthday last week. And that Marco Esplanada tequila was excellent. You're welcome over any time. You're best cooked by a long shot, Francisco. <laughs> ah, Colorado tap water. <laughs> How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking Fuck this you, out? Ryan Lucan. Enjoy Please your stop. Birder no, of the Year kidding. title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a
Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Right? Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that, thanks. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. I want to see if I found that girl's song first. Where are you, girl from Rome? Chad's such a liar. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Thank you. 
Chad's such a liar. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. <laughs> Let's do this. I've never completed this puzzle before. Let's hear this infamous song. Ooh. Alabaster Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. OK, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> <laughs> That's your plan. Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan, except I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. What? <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Steph. <laughs> Always, 100% Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ. It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I 
can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Sorry for any crinkling bag sounds, by the way, guys. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She said, if I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew, they're adorable. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. You're okay. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender made the long work days more bearable. I need to rile Diana. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay, now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. <laughs>
Bring it on, Seth. What's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single? Semi-single? Taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that <laughs> at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. Yeah, I could see your cheeks from space. <laughs> Super. Real good look for me. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> see ya. I freaking love this, that part, it's funny. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, that was epic! Totally insane! insane. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Steph, there's a very real chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. Word protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we, we have, have a lot to do. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? How can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. <laughs> well then, prepare to be regaled. <laughs> Let's do it! Let's go! So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in Death of Local Man at the hands of Typhon Explosions. Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. Oh yeah, the Spring Festival. The Sheriff's Department would like to provide a brief update regarding our ongoing investigation in the death of Gabe Chen. Mr. Mr. Chen's death has officially been ruled an accident. However, our investigation remains open and we encourage any members of the community who might have valuable information to step forward and share it with us. Our goal now is to gain a comprehensive understanding of the events that led Mr. Chen's death 
to Mr. Chen's death in order to prevent further harm from befalling anyone in our community in the future. We would be closed for regular business afternoon in order to participate in stuff. We can get a slight rule out back to the game. We'll see you all this evening at the park for the Spring Festival. Woo! <laughs> okay. So... Ryan rage. Ryan's anger had teeth. It was, it was sharp, savage, self-directed, a rabid animal with its prey cornered. And because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it, to let it eat him alive. It was strange finding the shape it gave and the absence had he'd left behind. Um, I want more of Gabe than I got. Ryan got it. A whole Gabe. A Gabe who breathed and took up space. And then the knife. The rope, the ravine, the only things in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth, that Gabe would have forgiven him, that he wasn't alone. My job is to keep people safe. Not a hero, a coward, dead because of me. Can't shake the thought that you're dead because of me, and you're not here to forgive. I don't know how to go where the dead folks go, but I also don't know how to live. Ryan Joy. How do I even start? That gold glow, the way the pain and tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face, and then the laughter. The private joy of the moment when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank. The trust he had for Gabe. The love. The certain knowledge that he could f mess with Gabe and get away with it, that Gabe would love him for it. I pieced it together, found it in the clouds. The goose, the car, the grave. And for just a minute, I got to have, that sort of, to have the sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I feel so grateful for that. This morning, I thought I'd only ever know people through their pain. I thought I could live with that. If it meant helping people, honoring Gabe, but then this joy, like a life raft, a pocket of air at the top of an underwater lake. Everything feels different now. Property of the crown, a lot of blood. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. Should have dug a deeper grave. It's the night of the living geese. Now I'm wanted for goose by the mounted police. Diane's sadness. Guilt sits so strangely in people. All the gnawing urgency of anger, all the pressing weight of sadness, each canceling the other out until you feel paralyzed, staked to the spot. It's a horrible thing to carry around with you, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. But Diane comes close to deserving it. She saw Gabe as a sort of twin, another outsider dragged to Haven Springs who found a way to make this place his home. She actually misses him, feels the emptiness of the space he left. It rips her up inside. But in the face of that anguish, what does she do? Curls inward, fortifies her defenses. That's her focus, saving herself. She could have been so much better than she is, but I don't know, maybe so could I? I tricked Diane, dug up her grief and fooled her into confronting it. Maybe it was naive to think of this power as basically selfless, but knowing I can use it to manipulate someone like that, I'm not sure I like it. No one deserves to die like that. I can't undo what Typhon did. He came here looking for a better life. There's been an accident. Can't undo what the Titan did to the boy you saw yourself within. Your knife but the Titan's head, carving accident into his skin. Okay, let me grab my hat. Change your outfit. What's on this one? Just a eyeball creature. 
I'll do the two wheel shirt. And the hat. Steph, I will murder you. Alex, Steph told me you'd be willing to play at our next open mic night. I wager it'd really help loosen folks up and break the ice. Can you make it? <laughs> There it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Lockpick. Bees. Oh. You're hot. Hurry up and finish your shift. Love, Char. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. Never give up. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Well, that was an accident. I didn't mean to find it immediately. There we go. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> Sounds like his dad is picking him up in a few hours to- oh wait, hold on. Not sure LARP is happening, Ethan's not into it. Sounds like his dad is picking him up in a few hours too. Any ideas? Try talking to him. Before I go anywhere, is there a- Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. A day in Ethan the... is gonna flip. A day in the kingdom of Kongs. Welcome, travelers. Today, Thanor the Monster Slayer visits the troubled stone-born capital city of Kongs. Can he dispatch the ravenous monster horde and save the kingdom? LARP Basics. A LARP, live-action role-playing, is a game in which players portray their characters through physical action using costumes and props to add to the fun. Safety rules. We're here for fu to have fun. Don't hit too hard. Go for arms, legs, torso, back, sides, front. Avoid hands, feet, neck, and head. Act stuff out. If you get hit, perform a grunt or injury. Thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot, Steph. Name Alto, Half Bard, uh, level one. Attacks, name, effect, untuned cord, one damage. Uh, magic, name, effect, healing serenade, plus one health to you and your allies. Stirring him, double Stanor's next attack. Backstory, after an unusual encounter with a dire wolf swallowing her loot, Alto the Bard has been con a constant companion to Thanor the Monster Slayer. The two have endured many trials and have recently found themselves answering a call for heroes in the city of Stoneborn. Thanor, human, class warrior, level 1, health points 10. Attacks, name, effect. Stab, 2 damage. Burning blade, 1 damage plus 1 fire damage over next 2 turns. Magic, shield of courage, protects Thanor from next attack. Backstory, Thanor the monster slayer is the most famous hero of the Outerway Peninsula. Even the smallest child knows how he once felled a valley bear with empty hands and hurled a spear into the, <laughs> into the breast of a wraith mid-flight. Entire cities have been saved from the scourges of darkness, thanks to Thanor's unrivaled strength. River Sorrows, Swamp Troll, King's Road, His Majesty's Summer Castle, <laughs> Goldweather's Tavern, the Magpie Emporium. Alright. I suppose we better go talk to... 
Uh, Ethan. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. <laughs> Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. <laughs> yeah. Especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm, like, bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. <laughs> but what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Obviously. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. <laughs> a kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. So, you must be Thanor's bard, Alto, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope, an ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. 
Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. Let's do it. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. Like also find this is coins. kind of exciting. I gotta try to find as many coins as there are laying around. It helps later. It helps with um, bribing one of the creatures in the lark, actually. How do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. What did you just find? A gold coin. Do you think there's more of them? I don't know. Let's keep looking. Restores you and your allies to full health, removes all negative status effects, poison, stun, etc. May only be used once. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can. Wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. attack <laughs> oh, <clears throat> four damage One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Oh. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. I swung over the top ones. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. 
I dare you. I thought Alex might have liked me, but no way I can compete with Steph. Competing? Like, for me? That's... Wow. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. <laughs> Let's go to the peach. Hmm. Healing. Found a scroll? Yeah. Well, now, who do we have here? Thanor the Monster Slayer. And my bard. And what you up to, Thanor? Saving your lives. There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. How about a dragon with a candy treasure hoard, chocolate coins, sugar pearls, gummy jewels? Yes. <laughs> Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? You'd have to be athletic. Looks to do like that. the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. You know, every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts, these regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Heed my warning, you traveling twosome. For within that town, I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. Yeah. All that guilt. And she still can't find her way toward doing their- Whoa. What's that about? Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. What happened here? All these props and stuff are awesome. Fellow survivors, I see. Are you hurt? <laughs> Hardly my first monster attack. I know an escape trick or two. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. <laughs> Uh, 
coin. I love the LARP. It's like so much fun. What happened to the rest of the music? Hypnotic fuse. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above oh. ground. First point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess, though, about how much longer are you fixing to live? Just long enough to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. Oh, boy. Guess Lawrence is going to need a new business advisor. Dear Lawrence, I recommend the advice I gave you when we last dined together. There is no need to tell you, sell your business. I am confident the age of monsters will soon come to an end. I have it on good authority that His Majesty's call for heroes was an answered by none other than Thanor, the legendary monster slit. <laughs> Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. Right? Here we go. This probably has the answer to that riddle. The Legend of the Soul Jewels, Baylin, Nira, Dessus. Long ago, it is said, when unspeakable terrors reigned even in daylight, four heroes faced the great shadow of the Kellyan Shores. For days the battle raged, until the powers of the great shadow overwhelmed the four heroes, pushing them to the brink of death. There, among waves stained with blood, three of the heroes gave their lives, calling upon an ancient spell that pulled the souls from their bodies and fashioned them into three stones of immeasurable power. From Nero the Berserker, strongest of the four, came the soul ruby. From Desis the Cleric, weaver of stories, came the soul sapphire. From Baylin, the illusionist, keeper of the old books, came the soul amethyst. With all three soul jewels in hand, the fourth hero took up their sword and struck down the great shadow, piercing it with light. Then, weary and bloody from battle, the fourth hero hid the jewels away and wandered into the deep wilds of rain, never to be seen again. House Bard. Sorry, Steph. Alto is pretty happy with her current gig. Speaking of House Bard to entertain at diners, dances, beheadings, etc. Must be witty, perceptive, generous of heart, black hair preferred, cute smile of plus, excellent compensation. Old swords for sale, see you in the blacksmith. Repel monsters with a secret blend of her herbs. Only four gold coins for the recipe. Meet behind Goldweather's Mondays at midnight. Anyone else been hearing spooky sounds around the castle? Mm -hmm. I actually feel bad for that person. If there was a monster and you only had your guitar, would you smash their head with it? Be honest. Of course I would. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Oops. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. He's probably just having a good time.
Feynor. Did you see this? That's got to be it. It's one of the jewels. so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Glad you finally believe in us. In retrospect, this is so obviously a decoy. <laughs> We're gonna have to deal with this. Big heed. It is believed that a swamp troll has taken residence below the eastern bridge. Use extreme caution when crossing, or better yet, don't did you see this warning? Yeah. Well, that's a bad situation. Trolls are ruthless. Are you supposed to talk to Ducky again? Yes? I see you've poured yourself some ale. You just survived a monster attack. I think you deserve a couple drinks on the house. Truly wise beyond your years. <laughs> Wanna tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the age of monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. <laughs> How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had a comment. Stingy dish wench. <laughs> We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Time for us to head out. Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Plus one dodge. You and your allies will dodge the next attack. May only be used once. Nice work, Thanor. There's that festival threw up on them. The Age of Monsters has descended upon our fair hamlet. Listen not, sir, to those who would tell you to abandon hope, for the great hero Thanor has arrived at our gates. What does this mean? I just wanted to get some ice cream. There was some really interesting stuff in there. Now you look pale. Ready to answer? I'll say it once more. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels. Blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Their names are... The answer is Nira, Dasis, and Belen. You've solved the riddle, you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. Behold. To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. Four coins. Got it. 
Got it. Uh, there's more. Because you solved my verse, you may take one gold from my purse. Thank you. I wish we could go back to the tavern when it's full of people. It, thanks. Warnings. Go get them, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Could there be something down the alley? This is boring. Shh, they're here. <laughs> Beware of River Monster. Some kind of snake? I guess. <laughs> Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? Kind of cute, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's gonna attack! What do you want to do? Bell. Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snake's ears are internal, so they can't hear. <laughs> nice. Let's make some ears bleed. Class bar, skill, horrid disharmony, type, attack, effect, three damage. May be used once per battle only. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. Let's do it. That was so smart of you to use the bell. It worked out, didn't it? Okay, we handled the river, sir. Another beware message. She hits my mind. Oh, there! I hear you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just ta. What a thankless life, being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa, he's really into this. <laughs> Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I forgot it's the demo. really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped what into this. What did you meet again? Sun Silver? The components for Sun Silver? Jesus, dude, calm down. It's just a, just a lurk. I'm guessing this is a fancy art gallery. <laughs> Wait, no, a pet shop. A pet shop? <laughs> Go for it.
Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. Let's go. Step, step, step. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Hey. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what Steph's done to the place. When Alex said I'm hot, did she mean it? Or was she just messing around? Never seen Steph feel this way before. Maybe I could reassure her. She's always so- I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> spells. Very cute, Steph. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Wonder if they have drills for this. Got none of those who matter. Cast Protective Circle, create illusion in other direction. Await, await Archmage assistance not guaranteed. Golems, animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. That actually looks legit. <laughs> Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Smartass, there's a cat outside the shop. Aww. Dude, I don't know, she doesn't have- Warning, cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. <laughs> Let's draw. What do I want insight about? People. Steph. Steph is just awesome. A card of spontaneity, fearlessness, and adventure is welcomed gladly. If I really wish things would stop changing, for <laughs> once. A card of decisive, inevitable change, the internal cycle of life. You were right, Gabe. I'm a superhero. A card of determination, focus, and the sculpting of one's own destiny. Yikes. A card of endings, inevitable transformation, and letting go. Holy shit. Too real. A card of power and domination, and the pursuit of same. Well. Is that true for Ryan? I hope so. A card of inspiration, optimism, and hope for the future. I am gonna hear Steph baby talk at this cat if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> the streets used to be full of people. The soul sapphire's right there for sale. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? For my hand is there. In exchange for something far more valuable. 
my hand in marriage. And all of its associated benefits. And <laughs> you should know, I wouldn't offer if I didn't mean it. The look on her face. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh man, this just got real. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued, but I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then, here's my end of the bargain. Yes. And this? Only one more jewel left. Getting there. And this is my favorite part. I do, I do, I do, I do. Maybe when Ethan's not around. <laughs> Where to next? Um, I thought there was a coin in here. Still really gotta finish the rest sworn. of our quest. I know, but I really would have sworn that there was a coin here. In here? Maybe? No? Probably not. It's all good. We should head back outside. I want to hear it one more time. I do. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> okay. That wink! <laughs> the two are too cute. Sorry, I don't get it over uh, fantasy characters, but they're just adorable. They're they're so adorable, too cute. Appreciates my. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Well, the deuce hours of operation during May and June as we search for additional staff. We apologize for the inconvenience. Congrats, Riley. Thank 
Couldn't have done it without you, Nana. Aww. She's going to college. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. You got it. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. Anyway, let's talk about something else. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> he gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Is this where I find that man? I will definitely not touch this. This is just so nice. Dear Riley, you'll need a new computer for your fancy new scholarship. If this doesn't cover it, tell me and I'll write it another check. I'm so proud of you. Love, Nana. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels mm -hmm. like it's been years. All right. Back outside we go. What a piece of shit. Hey, Riley, I got your little going away present. It's from the chocolate place we went to on our anniversary last year. I haven't been able to sleep lately thinking about you out partying on your own. Of course, I trust you, but there's going to be a lot of guys there, and that makes me anxious. Honestly, I wish you would think about that a little. Call me from school if you ever want to talk, Mac. Jerk, you guys aren't even together anymore. Sooner or later, Riley's going to figure out Eleanor's secret. We're not going to be the one to tell her. Okay. Let's head back out. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Let's go see. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. You did not have to say that twice. <laughs> oh, I did pick up the other coin. Okay. I, I don't remember picking oh. it up. Oh. oh, shit. Troll. Incoming. He's got a soul jewel right there. Oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? How about some gold in exchange for your ruby? You've got my attention? 
how much. Four gold. Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Anything else? We're on a quest. Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you to fight like me. Hmm. There you go. Feel strike of wrath, attack, three damage. Maybe use once per battle only? <laughs> Let's go. That was quick. <laughs> I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again, anytime. <laughs> We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. <laughs> okay, that troll was scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. <laughs> Even after you paid him off. He was still scary. <laughs> I said we go back into the Magpie Emporium. No, I think I can We've still get... got coins. Should we spend them before? I think I can get the scroll. A scroll of healing. Your ally gain an extra turn may only be used once. Okay, that one's two, so I can't do that one. I think. I think a scroll of. No. We've already got a scroll of nimbleness, so I can heal already with my music. Yeah, I like the Scroll of Advantage. Okay. It's kind of Thanor. One gold, please. Scroll of Advantage, God. I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay, I'm, do I'm done now. <laughs> Now to return to the king. I don't know where to ever find that dude's stuff. So. Come on. Monster abundances are when you need apothecaries the most. <laughs> Aw. Disappointed. I thought I would finally get to go in. <laughs> Hey, kid, you responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? Scroll of Advantage. Got another scroll. Cool. Another scroll of We're like master scroll seekers. Yep. Gabe, you would have really had fun with all Charlotte. Oh my god, it's my mom. <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer, you've come at last. 
Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Netheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? Sky Sword. It's the Sky Sword of Power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. Mm -hmm. It's got the pincer and the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Ryan. After Ryan was carving. Really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. Here we go. A song, if you please. Monsters beware your final hour. Thanor has found the sky sort of power. <laughs> Take that sword now, and the jewels! Cravius, Lord of the Underworld! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! Gosh. Scroll of Advantage. Stirring him. Strike of Wrath.
stirring him. We got this. Scroll of nimbleness. Healing. Horrid disharmony. wasn't your fault at all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. Poor Ethan. Charlotte? Back here. Okay. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Well, he's sort of mine how creative he is, you must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe, but I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I don't mind you. 
at all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Are you sure? If you want company, I'm- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Thank you so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. <laughs> Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Yeah, we'll find out. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. 
I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Cape... I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. And I wish I were too. This anger could kill her and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away. We can't. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? No. So, there's a lot of reasons I say no to this. And it's because when I first played this game, I did. I did take her anger. Thing is, that one, leaving her with the anger is yet one of the other choices you have to make for what happens at the end of the game. But there's more than that. If you take her anger, not only do you have a moment of lash out towards the end of the chapter, but you also make her feel excessively hopeless. And it's really bad. It affects her pretty bad. So, for various, various reasons, I ultimately have never taken her anger again. I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. You're strong. You'll get through this. I guess we'll find out. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Honestly, I think she'd want me to keep what happened just between us. Sorry. Of course. Don't apologize. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. 
Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Type in safety. Mac, it's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit, he could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mm. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. We're gonna get there. Don't worry. Not gonna lie, I'm... We're going to get them. For you, Gabe. A cold case and a warm beer. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Find out what happened after Gabe's call at 8.41 p.m. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? I warned you, Lena. I warned you. Undetected as you insisted, and now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I'm not going down for this. At least, not alone. Send her clerk, Lena, to Diane. I understand that you're upset and emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling you first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. 
If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait, they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. All right. So, we chose Steph to distract Diane, obviously. We left Charlotte with her anger. Most people tend to take it, but... Like I said, I know what happens in the end if you do. Uh, we made Diane sad instead of angry. We didn't play a record in the apartment. We didn't weed the rooftop garden. I didn't even realize that was an option. Uh, Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. The troll took our bribe. The serpent was put to sleep. Steph helped Alex find out what Typhon was up to. Uh... King Tabor had, was vanquished in the final battle. Riley doesn't know about Eleanor's condition. Good. Alex helped the student focus on her work. Okay. Alex and Ethan solved the Jester's riddle. Alex and Ethan didn't tell the blacksmith the ingredients. I don't know how to find those. I'll have to go back later and figure it out. But we're going to hit the main menu. All right, guys, so that is the end of chapter three. I almost forgot which chapter of Life is Strange True Colors. Again, I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. We only have two chapters left, and then the bonus chapter, and then there's only one more Life is Strange game. I can't believe we're getting this close. I honestly have loved playing these games for you guys. But that being said, um, remember to eat plenty, stay hydrated, get plenty of rest. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, just have a good night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.